Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Yo Yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on the Yo Yen monthly, I still think this looks like a 1, 2, 3, and I'm not even seeing any proof that the wave 3 is over. It very easily could continue up more. Eventually, I do think it is going to go down, make a big correction for a wave 4, and probably back up for a wave 5. I still believe that it's going to end right at this 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected out the bottom of ABC of B. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I believe this is the end of a wave two way back here, and pretty much ever since that day, we have been making higher lows. That is pretty much the definition of an uptrend. We do have a little bit of a double top right here, so maybe it will make a pullback, but until I get a significant break of structure, I am for sure primarily going to be looking for longs on sort of time frame still. Going down to that daily time frame so on the daily time frame like i said we got a little bit of a double top here but for me it still has not really broken any starts to the downside probably the most recent starts levels are right here and our most recent break is actually to the upside so i think this move down very easily could just be another pullback another correction and maybe later on we'll get another continuation of the uptrend so taking it down to the four hour time frame four hour time frame since our last end of a correction back here We've been making higher highs, higher lows. That's where I have my Fibonacci retracement because if this makes some sort of a three-way pattern down to one of these Fibonacci levels, makes an impulsive engulfing move to the upside, I will for sure be taking that as a long opportunity for the continuation of the uptrend. Until I see proof that the trend is over, unlike the daily time frame and up, I am for sure primarily looking for longs on sort of time frames. Now going down to the one-hour time frame, sort of day traders, I mean, this definitely looks like the end of an ABC crutched right there. This is actually probably an A or maybe perhaps a 1. This is probably a B or maybe perhaps a 2. This is right here. Definitely looks like the end of a crutched and it is probably going down. But if it goes down to one of these fib levels, makes an impulsive turn back to the upside, then that's going to tell me it's a wave C and that would be exactly what I would be looking for to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. But like I said, for the for sort of time frame traders, you could definitely still be looking for sorts until you you get those three ways down and pause them up at a Fibonacci level. Once that happens, you definitely want to exit your shorts and maybe even go long for the continuation of the uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.